Hi, so we've been doing quite a few videos on how to use our ink and how to use it making electronic circuits and mostly we've been painting them and it struck me that it'd be really interesting if we could try and do a sort of PCB approach uh, and I came up with this idea what I've got here is a bit of yellow acrylic and it's got a bit of pet on top and I'm going to paint that pet and then put it in a laser cutter and cut out a circuit now the circuit that I'm going to do is this one It's basically a stylophone, so all it really uses is two components plus that circuit, because that circuit uh, contains all the passive components in it, incidentally. So the resistors and capacitors are part of what's been painted. So the plan is to do that on a bit of plastic, stick it in the laser cutter, peel off the bits that the laser cutter has cut out, and we should have a circuit, put our two components on there, and we should have a working kind of, if you like, an in inverted commas, PCB printed circuit and I kind of like that as an idea. So I'm going to take this bit of PET and prepare it and it's really simple to prepare. Basically give it a bit of clean with a, uh, some IPA and we've done this before with polypropylene but it works just the same with PET. And then get a bit of the ink and wipe the ink on to form a ground because the cleaned and uh, prepared PET won't really bond particularly well unless you give it a going over with the graphene ink to kind of embed the ink in the plastic. And it bonds really nicely if you do that. Do that, and then with the paintbrush, paint on a coat of the ink. Just cover the whole surface. Now I'm going to put this in a laser cutter. I guess you could use a vinyl cutter as easily actually, and that did occur to me. I might do another one where I use the vinyl cutter. And all we do is leave that to dry. So there it is, all ready to go. It's quite pretty. I'm going to put that in the laser cutter now and we'll see what happens next. Actually, that came out pretty well. Here it is from the laser cutter. Now all we have to do is remove the bits that we don't want add our two components and we should have a working stylophone. So let's try and peel those off and see what happens. Oh, that's kind of exciting, that is actually working. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna peel all of that off. Okay, there it is finished and I've clipped on a positive and a negative uh, from my power supply and the only thing that's on there is the piezo and the 555. Now let's see if it works. To get it to work, hold the wire against there and touch any of these. <laughs> That's absolutely awesome. <laughs> it's pretty quiet, but it is a little piezo. But uh, what we've done effectively is make a printed circuit using our ink. So I'm really pleased about that, actually. That's actually very cool. So I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching. Ah, I'll put a link to the shop for the ink as well in the description. Again, thank you very much.